welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure why do chosen ones become loners uh, now this is a sticky topic it's not that sticky though because the funny thing is chosen ones are popular loner loners and i just want to make it clear like just because we are loners does not mean that we're lonely okay because many of us um we truly enjoy our alone time we actually need our alone time to thrive like many of us are introverted you got some extroverts you got some introverted extroverts but majority of us from what i see are introverted now why are the chosen ones why is it like pretty much destined that chosen ones are loners chosen ones are <laughs> chosen ones are loners because for one we are very misunderstood people do not understand us and this really happens like i'll say this really happens a majority during the time of a spiritual awakening or like after you had your first spiritual awakening when you start to see things different in a different light when you start to wake up from this matrix people start to misunderstand you because you start to move differently you start to act differently you start to um think differently like and it's because there's so much information out there and the truth just be coming to you like like you just be learning so much information and it's hard to turn a blind eye to it so it causes you to start to become a different person and when you become a different person when you start to step into a better version of yourself or a higher version of yourself or a more vibrant version of yourself it's different than those people who you have uh, previously interacted with so you start to lose friends you start to lose family and not that you lose them like you still may be in contact with them but you maybe can't relate to them on the certain things that they want to do or the certain things that they want to talk about anymore like you start to have different goals you start to uh, vibrate on a different level this is why the chosen ones are in isolation uh, per se like this is why you are loners <laughs> this is why we are loners we're loners because people just really don't understand us. People are not on our level mentally. And it's not that we're better than them or anything like that. It's just that we're, we vibrate different. It's just that once we have our, a spiritual awakening, once we start to awaken to this matrix, it automatically, it just, it just like, it takes us, um, it takes us away. Because now we're like, we're questioning everything. We're like, oh, I know that this may not be the best for me. So this is what I used to do with a certain group of people. But I'm not feeling it in my soul to do this anymore because I know the consequences of my actions. Or you just start to want better. Because you want better, this is why you become a loner because it's not many people out here like you. Like it's a small percentage of people in the world who think like you. So this is why the chosen ones become loners because we think differently. Like we think differently. The ways in which we think and the ways in which we move and the outcomes that we want for our life, like it's, it's slightly different from the average person in the world. A lot of people don't understand our mindset and with that it causes a lot of conflict like we have people who judge us we have people who tell us that we're silly that we are crazy like we have people who do not agree with the decisions that we make so a lot of times it's easier instead of um to like go back and forth with people reason with people like explain ourselves to people we'd rather just not be around people we're loners because being around people really be draining us a lot like it really be draining us a lot um it really uh, a lot of chosen ones are empaths so the energy around us we take that in we take we take all the energy around in us so we rather not be around a lot of people a lot of times 
we like to do it in different in spurts like we like like to really think things through um where, where we're gonna attend why we're attending it like because we know the outcome we know that if we go in a room full of low vibrations that it could lower our vibrations and we may go in happy and come out feeling a totally different way like when we walk in a room the energy shifts but at the same time we're empaths so we suck in a lot of that energy like i'm actually doing a really good job of learning how to be somewhere and not take in the energy just observe it from the outside in but it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of practice it takes a lot of consciousness okay when you became conscious this is when uh, you became a loner like because you're conscious of so many things that others are not conscious of it's like now you have to find or i'm not going to say find now um you have to attract and you don't have to but now you have to attract like-minded individuals before it was a free-for-all anybody could get it, anybody could be your friend anybody could talk you can go out with anybody but now you're able to see things from the outside in you're able to watch people you're able to hear the conversations that people are having and you don't want a part in it like you don't want anything to do with it chosen ones are loners because we have old souls <laughs> We have old souls and it's like after we've done things uh, so many times, after we had a certain experience so many times, we start to remember on the subconscious level like that we've actually been there and done that before. Like stuff gets old very quick for us. So for the average person, let's say in society, they kind of live their life doing the same thing for a lifetime. But we like to do different things. This is why we're loners and we're able to actually do things alone or with a small group of people because not everyone thinks like us. Not everyone is on the same type of time as us. Not everyone want to do the type of things that we like to do. So we're not going to stop ourselves from doing the things that we want to do. We'll, we'll rather do it alone. Like we're loners. We enjoy a long time, even in our households. Like we enjoy being in our room or we enjoy... Like, being in the living room, even when we have others around us, significant others, kids, like, we can literally sit in a room in silence and, like, and be okay with that. Like, we're able to be okay with that and we're able to be okay with being with ourselves. We're okay with being alone. Like, Chosen Ones are loners because our our mission is much bigger than all of the societal things. So... Yes, we partake in society. Yes, we like to do things. Yes, we like to turn up or whatever it is that you like to do. Like, yes, we like to do, like, yes, we like to partake in society, but we recognize on a conscious level that when we are doing certain things, it's taken away from something better that we can be doing. Like, it's taken away from something that could be making us feel good. It's taken away from something that could be helping uh, the world like vibrate at a higher level like it's taken away from our our peace like chosen ones are loners because we truly embrace our peace wholeheartedly like we truly um we adore our peace like we need our peace we don't really like a lot of chaos and confusion like when we're in that type of environment, we rather we would rather remove ourselves, and this is why we are loners. Because when we come across that type of energy, we think twice before we put ourselves back into that. We think twice before we put ourselves back into it. And sometimes I'm not gonna say like it just like oh that you're just thinking all the time like because sometimes like we human too we having this human experience too so sometimes that chaos and confusion you can keep going back until we learn our lessons but when we learn our lesson as the chosen ones we do better we do better it's like we knew better you do better but we still are having this human experience so sometimes we repeat things over and over even if it's not good for us um until we get it on a conscious level until we get it on the soul level but yeah this is why chosen ones are loners um if you're a loner let me know in the comment section below i swear we just be like loners but once again we're not lonely like we are perfectly fine we are those group of people who 
are fine with being with ourselves. Like, we can be around people, we can be with ourselves all day. Like, I can be with myself all day. I don't have to call nobody. I don't have to see nobody. None of that. Like, <laughs> and people may think that is weird, but you're like, no, this is what I need. Like, us as chosen ones, our alone time helps recharge us to be able to be around people. Like, sometimes when we're around people, they drain our energy. We don't like the big groups, okay? We'd rather keep it tight-knit. We'd rather have a couple of real close friends than a group of friends who just like to kick it together that really don't like each other, that's just that just really like to just hang up hang out or just do certain things like we're just different okay but we understand each other and that's all that matters so <laughs> if you're a loner if this video resonate if it hit different let me know how so in the comment section below if you are new here i new invite you to hit that subscribe button that is all i have for this video stay spiritually used stay spiritually in tune and i'll see y'all on the next one peace